right, uh, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is Fire in the Booth. So I'm guessing this is uh, another one of those free verses. Yes. All right. And uh, the artist's name is Akala. Uh, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you want to see more of this specific content. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. All right. I know you're going to dig this. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, yo. Hold on, bro. Um, let me know in the comments. Does Akala like give like speeches? Is he like a um? Is he an author? Because I have a book by a guy named Akala. Now that I'm thinking about it, and it looks kind of like him, but I think but with different hair potentially. Um, I think it's called um, Race and Class in the Ruins of the Empire. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if this guy's an author. Interesting. All right, let's get it. Because I know the guy, I know, I know the guy who I'm talking about is also from the UK. So I'm probably going to guess. I don't know, dude. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get it. Okay. Yo. Yo. I like you. You like a tiger. Yes, I grew up on a dole in a single parent family. Been through a little bit of tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, Ooh. given the knowledge of self, that is all we actually need to survive. If you saw me, age nine, reading Malcolm, just fine. Teachers still treated me stupid. Students, they couldn't speak English, they put me in groups with. The irony is, some of the first men to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. Oh. This is him, bro. This has to be him. Because he's obviously just based off of this. I can tell that he's extremely conscious with this shit. Yes. Um, he's he's completely aware of his surroundings and knows how to move within this uh, world we live in all together. Yes. Um, this has to be him, dude. Um, in terms of his cadence, his cadence is amazing. OK. Um, internal, external rhythm is amazing. His ability to tell a story and, and draw people in. Amazing. I did. They put me in groups with. The irony is, some of the first man to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. I already explained that we know what the truth is. They used to say, don't be like me. Yeah, I got a name and don't on the street. Nighttime comes, I can't sleep. It's the part that rappers don't speak. We don't hit the road because we're thugs. Don't come out the room, want to sell drugs. If we got the right guidance and love, would we fight people just like us? How can I knock the hustle to get by? How do you think I ate as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong. Just don't boast about it in songs, but listen to my older bars. I was just as confused as you probably are, but you grow when you learn. Travel on, cut one too many, man, you know, get caught. One too many, man, that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You learn if you study, so set out just to make them money. No cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another. So it's better that us killing our brothers, <laughs> kissing our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our Bro, what's going on over there in the UK, man? Is it is it that close to, to what we experience in America? Cause uh Man. Hold on, bro. I need to see something. Is this him for real? Like like for real? Book by Akala, yeah. That's him. Everything makes sense. I already know this man's story, basically, bro. Just based off of his book, bro. Um, and he's a rapper. <laughs> yeah, send me more, okay? Yeah, immediately hit the comments and be like, "Listen, um, you should be hearing this right now." And then you should be hearing this. And then you should be hearing this. He obviously has something to say. Uh, he's extremely intelligent, extremely aware of his surroundings. Yes. And extremely lyrical and ex excessively bar heavy, bro. Fight with one another, so it's not to that us killing our brothers, dissing our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Comes back around you again, your mind. You be ready for the energy I challenge in my rhyme. Remedy the pedigree, the jeopardy your mind when the world is left it is a crime. <laughs> fight with the brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes guns. We can all talk, get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. All right. We understood economics with no money's nothing. Think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth. 
Knock the wealth itself and don't get confused far from Broke all that you see me do I own But I won't hang what I make around my neck I know from where that the diamonds came But I do literally own a library That definitely costs more than your chain And businesses and property Far from starving I eat quite properly And I don't care Just said it for the kids You need to know you're not broke to listen Don't know an asset from a liability They've never been shown nor told the difference So they don't change situation Richest man in Britain is Asian That's significant Not coincidence Asian people build businesses Not by flossing Going out shopping Giving up the culture for everyone's profit Who runs Bollywood? With Indian people who runs our ish. So we shake our ass and dance as if racism just upped and vanished. But has it? No, it's right on course. You're beating so bad, you're trained to ignore. Let me not just make sweeping statements. Give me a second, I'll explain it. For small amounts of drug possession, there's more black people in jail in America. The net is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. You can say they're just locking up tugs. Imagine they're in prison every middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'd be your kids. Bigger than that, what is going on with this? Prison in America's private business to get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait, also <laughs> legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves to slave labor. Big corporation. Yeah, that's true. Just wait, also legally are allowed to. And you can argue that. I know I'm gonna get some people in the comments like, uh, that's not true. Read the Constitution. Slavery is illegal in America unless they are uh, basically mandated to the state, basically. Like if they are underneath like some type of federal prison, then it kind of goes against the anti-slavery acts that we have in America. So read the, read the Constitution before you yell at me. All right. Well, well, read all. Make sure you read every single amendment that we have. Read that and you'll fully understand what I'm saying in this instance. OK. Um, yeah. But. All right, let's get it. Business to get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait. Also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labor. Big corporations that come out of jail when they can't get a job. Nope. So when we celebrate going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social condition to breed crime by design. Where do you think you get your money? And you can say that they're just black. But I like to deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America. Black towns, prospering centers of economics to education to make you proud. But some some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups. Burn those towns to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood? It's only been. Um, go ahead and research um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right? Um, then write the word massacre at the end of that. But some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups. Burn those towns to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood? It's only been 60 years since the hung and burn them, and that was so cool. They were your baskets, picnic baskets, even gave kids the day off school. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you right now, there are gonna be people who are gonna hear this video, they're gonna see this video, right? And they're gonna come in and be like, this guy is lying about the majority of what he's saying. Right. Um, the reason why he said something about picnic, right, is because it, it, it references a old like derogatory term that was used towards like black Americans. Yes. Um, and if you look it up, it's completely different from what the actual meaning of the word is. Right. Because uh, America has a tendency to change facts around sometimes you know what i'm saying and um yeah picnic has a lot to do with uh picking a uh you know something else yes um this is where the term came from kind of right well not came from but like um kind it kind of did come from that instance is when <laughs> Was, this is not a history class, okay? This is not a history class. This guy is dropping knowledge, bro. And it is the... It, this is basically... The problem with this here, right? Is that we have multiple forms of, uh, of knowledge bases, yes? On this planet. We have one that is fully based in history. Actual history. And then his story. You get what I'm saying? Um... And the problem is, is that his story, right, is almost 100% going to be involved into 
the majority of our schools in America. Okay, this because there there are too many inconsistencies with uh, his story. Yes, there are way too many inconsistencies, and I'm hearing him speak and. I, this is all the shit that I knew for the longest, right? Nothing is surprising me with what he's saying. It's like these are it's all kind of common knowledge. If you have a specific, you know, I'm not trying to trying to subjugate people, you know what I mean? But um, but if you have like a specific, you know, skin tone, right? You are more likely to understand certain things differently within the Western world. Right. Um, and what he's saying is all knowledge that generally um, people that have our skin tones already knew. Right. So it makes me wonder why he is going and saying these things. Yes. Other than the fact that he is looking to tell people that ha do not understand the experiences. Yes. That could be it, too, because, you know, he's like a teacher, right? Is he, is he a professor or something? Something like that, bro. Um, but yeah. Let's continue our, our lesson for today. Yes. <laughs> Let's get it. Town to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you were always living in the hood? It's only been 60 years since the hung blacks and burn them, and that was so cool. They were your past picnic baskets, even gave kids the day off school. Go see a lynching, have a picnic. It's fun to watch the little monkeys die, and people act a little dysfunctional. You wanna pretend that you don't know why? If your color means you can be killed, and you're powerless to get justice about it, is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up feeling about it? And that ain't excuses, just dealing with the roots of abuses that make a reality where a generation of young men speak of ourselves as dirt casually. That's America. This. Britain, something similar, some different In this country, the first enslaved were the working class What's changed? Worst jobs, worst conditions Most tax, look where you live and yet you go to the pub Friday night, you will fight with a guy Don't know what for, won't fight with a guy Suit and a tie, you send your kids to die in a war They don't send the kids to the rich or the politicians It's your kids, the poor British But they send to go and die in a foreign land For these wars that you don't understand Yeah, they say you are British And that lovely patriotism they feed you But in reality, you have more in common with immigrants Than with your leaders, I know Both sides of my family, black and white, affect your mentality reality in this system poor people are dirt regardless of shade but with that said let's not pretend yeah. that everything is the same thank you sir <clears throat> because this is what i don't like about conversations like this right because a lot of the times conversations seem to always end on one thing because you have dark skin that means that you must you know that, that you're the only person that suffers on this planet right this isn't true, right? I mean, there are differences here, yes? But there are people who are suffering a whole lot, yes? Um, and a lot of it comes down to, to, to your net worth, yes? So I'm so glad that he pointed this out because it would have been intellectually dishonest if he didn't, yes? Because I don't like having conversations where things are not, where we're not basing everything, you know what I'm saying, in, in proper context here. Because a lot of what was said earlier in this song could easily be put to just general poor people, right? But at the same time, he's right there. You can't act like things are exactly the same, right? There are, there are much more commonalities within someone who is, let's say, white and someone who is black, right? If the, if the person who is white is impoverished, yes? Generally, there's much well the, with the general masses of of um, of black so-called black people. Yes. Um, yeah, there are so many more commonalities than differences. But once you step out of the class, then there, there's really no similarities. The, the, the life experiences are, are too far different. You know what I'm saying? They have, there are no there are no similarities generally. Right. So the fact that he's pointing out that a lot of it has to do with poverty is making, as I said, this more important to me. Um, but then again, he says you can't act like things are exactly the same because they, they just aren't. All right, let's get it. 
mentality, reality in this system. Poor people are dirt regardless of shade. But with that said, let's not pretend that everything is the same. When our grandparents came here to Britain, if you had a criminal record, you couldn't get in. That ain't protected for all of the stupid, stupid abuses they would be living. Kicked in the teeth, stabbed in the streets, many times firebombed our houses, put feces through our letterbox, and of course the cops did so much about it. Daily, up to the 80s, people spitting in my pan because I was a goofing baby. But of course, that has had no effect on why today we are crazy. And none of this was for any good reason. They were just dark and grieving to ease the guilt now for all of this treatment, constant stereotypes and needed. So if I celebrate how big the money's getting up, that are flipping, clips that are sticking, chicks that I'm hitting, I'm playing my position. But if I teach a kid to be a mathematician, messing with the schism, how they gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer our religion? What do you think we got now in Britain? Just like America, private prison, prison for profit. That mean when your kids go jail, people make money off it. So keep environments that breed crime, build more jails at the same time, market badness to the kids in the rhymes. Long as rich kids ain't dying, it's fine. Get them to the point where some are so lost, they actually believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves. Soft. But it's because their soft was Malcolm soft, was Marley soft Tell me was Marcus Garvey soft, well, was Muhammad Ali soft Nah, nah, I think not, but they want us to think that the road is cool Being on board is all we could do We don't control the wholesale production, so who benefits from us moving the food Or thinking there's no way out of old life But Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside And Marcus Garvey organised more than 6 million people With no Facebook or Twitter Why is it something you can't eat? Ish. One of my own homeboys did a 10 straight in the boxing yard Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate Don't tell me that it's too hard Who trains you to believe you're inferior? Some boat ever though in Nigeria Are the remains of an ancient moat Dug 1,000 years ago 20 metres wide, 70 down Round the remains of an ancient town That's 400 square miles around 400 square miles around Please, please don't believe me It was a documentary on BBC But we ain't studying history Too busy watching MTV And MTV said, wear platinum Now everybody wanna go and wear platinum And MTV said, pop magnums Now everybody wanna go and pop magnum And MTV said, drink prune juice You can start hearing that in tune soon Hey, today you're warm up Oh, yeah, is it now more important what I got to say? Oh, when I drive a Mercedes, by the way, so everybody listen to what I got to say. <laughs> Does that make you all happy? Yeah. My head's still nappy. Think for myself. <laughs> does, does that make me feel happy? Nah, my head's still nappy. Bro, come on, bro. Man, stop it. Stop it, bro. This is, this is like, listen, listen, the UK has talent, bro. Talent, all right? talent all right <laughs> i mean listen you guys could have warned me that 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 i was going to be going into something like this i try to keep controversial topics at a, at a minimum on this channel because uh you know things get a little awkward fast yes <laughs> um but dudes this is this is i like this <laughs> i like this bro um Everything that he's saying is a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Because like, regardless of whatever the conversation is that, that needs to be had, I absolutely love the concept of getting people to talk to each other about certain things, no matter what. Right. Um, and that's that's what I think all that matters to me, honestly, is the ability to start a conversation that people can have a full blown in depth experience with. Right. And I think that this will enrage people that were that are purely based in his story yes if that makes any sense like if you're if your knowledge base is rooted in that you're probably not gonna like this at all you're not you're not gonna like this at all this is this is gonna be enraging because it goes against the majority of like whatever you believe right and generally when you challenge someone's ideology they they're not open enough to understand that it's a challenge that you can res you can respond to. It's okay. Don't be angry at it, right? <sighs> Just create a space where a conversation can be had. That's all that matters, bro. All right, that's it. All right, dude. Let's get it. Am I check? Not one bothers me. All of this here is good for the rhymes. Put us in the same place at the same time, and it's clear to everybody I'm out on my mind. Some of these guys are running out of the rhymes. Clear to everybody. Those has got ears. I'm the guy that they just might fear that they want to get near, but they can't have a peer out there. I'm hard looking, you just like beer. Front on the kids for another five years. Come to my shows and some criteria. Mean that much to them. It's a movement. I don't speak for myself, but a unit. Black. 
white man, woman, anyone who respects truth, we put in. Dudes are like no dinner, we're just putting. Yeah, you're sweet, but no substance pudding. You can never ever be with a level on. Our songs get played out, them 11. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices and the girls laughing. Ain't fair, you can't even be bothered to comb his hair. Anyway, that's enough kissing my own ass. Back to the more important task of being so shower. I got half the hood screaming, knowledge is power. And I ain't saying that'll change rap, that, but I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a you on your block with his hands on his face screwed up. So he don't care, don't give up, that he won't let nobody call his bluff, but the words go in. Open your shack was once that's happened, there is no going back. Or would you start to see what is really happening? Who the enemy you should be attacking is. So read, 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 suck on the block, read, read, sitting in the box, read, read. Don't let them say what you can achieve. Because when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Yeah. Because it is well understood that intelligent people will take their freedom. Because if we knew our power, we would understand we can't be held down if we knew our power. We would not elevate not one of these clowns if we knew our power. We wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies if we knew our power. Mm. We would see what everybody sees that we're rich already. But never mind MCs, go run for your mummy. I'm hungry, I run for my tummy. That's enough. Back to worshipping money. I'm off. Back to the study. Man. This man kissed the mic, bro. He kissed the microphone, bro. He know he killed that, bro. He knows that. He knows that, bro. Man, listen. That mic has been fun. In the state records. Now that is what you call fire in the booth. No, you come with real crazy Bro. flows. The balls are crazy. The punchlines are crazy. Man. That was that was pure insanity, bro. All right. Let me know in the comments, yeah, for sure. Let me know the next thing I should be hearing from him, dude. And I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. Uh, I think he's about to live here, bro. All right? So, yeah, dudes. You guys have an amazing day and, like, legitimately enjoy the rest of it. Okay?